the Lenovo Fab 2 is a big smartphone in presence only. Its performance and display are subpar, making it tough to recommend. The Fab 2 is the cheapest of the three new phablets launched by Lenovo. While the Lenovo Fab 2 Plus has a 1080p display, the Fab 2 gets a 720p panel. Spread over 6.4 inches, this results in a pixel density of about 230 ppi. It isn't very crisp and some icons appear fuzzy while text can appear jagged. The viewing angles aren't very nice, with noticeable color shift at slight angles. The phone has a luminance rating of 363 lux, which is really low and the display will be perceived as dim. The Lenovo Fab 2 is big, but not what you would call ugly. It resembles a big rectangle and features a slightly curved back and chamfered edges. The Fab 2 actually fits comfortably in one hand, but not the very rounded corners will ding in your palm. The Fab 2 is quite sturdy and the physical buttons feel really nice to use. It should be noted that the Fab 2 does not have a fingerprint sensor. While the Lenovo Fab 2 may be one of the biggest phones you can buy right now, it's not the fastest. The phone has a quad-core MediaTek MT8735 processor consisting of four Cortex-A53 cores clogged at 1.3 GHz. You also get 3 GBs of RAM. It is comparatively slow, with slight framing issues while playing performance-intensive games like Injustice or Asphalt 8. The Lenovo Fab 2 does not come with Google Tango like the Fab 2 Pro, nor does it come with dual rear cameras like in the Fab 2 Plus. What you do get is a single 13 megapixel rear camera with dual tone flash. At the front is a 5 megapixel unit. Images taken with the phone seem consistently dull, regardless of lighting conditions. In daylight, colors seem dull with a hint of undersaturation. In low light, the image quality is quite poor with noticeable noise and poor colors even if you are clicking on well-lit roads, restaurants, etc. The phone has an AR mode that lets you put a fairy, dragon, dog or cat in the photo and interact with it. The feature, though interesting, is just a gimmick. The phone comes with a 4050mAh battery. After a complete working day, we had about 55% battery left. The phone can last you a day, but that may not be enough for a device this size. There is very little to like about the Lenovo Fab 2 aside from the build quality. It would have been better if Lenovo had offered a Full HD display instead of a 720p panel. Even with the added price, the Xiaomi Mi Max makes for a much better buy if you are in the market for a phablet. Thank you for tuning into Digit. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.